Welcome to Scholarly Snapshots, the channel that makes peer-reviewed research accessible. We take complex studies and break them down into simple, digestible bites, covering a wide range of topics. Whether you're a student, a scholar, or just someone who's curious about the world, join us as we dive into the world of scholarship together. In this video, we'll be discussing Neural Correlates of Belief, a research paper by Ali Kumail, Junaid Akhtar, and Muhammad Adil Raja. In this paper, the authors explore how the brain reacts to statements of religious and non-religious facts using EEG and SOM techniques. First, let's summarize the paper's findings. The authors found that when humans evaluate statements of religious and non-religious facts, the prefrontal cortex and parietal temporal lobe are broadly engaged. Specifically, the prefrontal cortex plays a significant role in processing both religious and non-religious beliefs. In contrast, the parietal temporal lobe is more involved in processing non-religious beliefs. The authors used EEG to collect data from participants who were presented with statements of religious and non-religious facts. They then used SOM to cluster the data and analyze it. The results showed that the brain activity associated with religious and non-religious beliefs is similar in many ways, but there are also some differences. Now let's move on to our analysis of this paper. One strength of this research is that it used a different technique than previous studies. While fMRI has been widely used to study brain activity, the authors employed EEG, which is less expensive and more accessible. This allows for a wider range of participants to be involved in the study. Another strength is that the authors used SOM to analyze the data. This is a powerful technique that can uncover patterns in large and complex datasets. By using SOM, the authors were able to cluster the data into meaningful groups and identify differences between the brain activity associated with religious and non-religious beliefs. However, one weakness of this paper is that the sample size was relatively small. While the authors had 10 participants in the study, this is a small number compared to other studies. A larger sample size would increase the generalizability of the findings. In conclusion, Neural Correlates of Belief provides valuable insights into how the brain processes religious and non-religious beliefs. The use of EEG and SOM techniques makes this study more accessible and affordable, and the results provide a starting point for future research. While the small sample size is a limitation, the overall findings are still significant and have important implications for understanding human cognition. That's it for this episode of Scholarly Snapshots. We hope you enjoyed learning something new today and that our simplified summary helped you understand the research a little better. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.